from the Turks and Caicos Islands Tourist Board, the tourism training manager for the Turks and Caicos Islands Tourist Board. And of course, I am a native of the Big South, East Harbor, South Caicos, and it's November. So it's Tourism Environmental Awareness Month. And this month, we are focusing on my hometown, my beloved East Harbor. Welcome to South Caicos. the fishing capital of the Turks and Caicos Islands. We are focusing this morning on our heritage, our people, and behind me and around me, beside me, are our future, our young people. And they're going to put on a spectacular performance for you this morning. I'm so happy to be here with one of the vendors, a prominent person in the community of South Caicos in the person of Miss Tasha Lewis. Tasha has been here practically all her life and she's never left South Caicos. She runs a restaurant and of course a souvenir shop. So I'm gonna allow Tasha to say hello and say a little bit about herself. Hi Tasha. Okay, good afternoon everyone. Thank you to you guys for coming to South Caicos. Welcome to the Taurus 14 for being here in South Caicos this afternoon. I'm, I've been working on um, souvenirs for a few years now. It is something that I enjoy doing. When an idea comes to me, I just try it out and see what actually happens. I welcome whatever Taurus actually comes and 
purchase my items and we here in South Caicos, I think I'll need more persons to get into this business because I think it's a awesome one to get into. Um, a lot of things that I work with, I find them locally at the beaches, like the shells and different things like that, that I actually make my souvenirs with. I think there's a few upcoming bright artists and I think persons in the schools need to be encouraged to actually do more of you know working with the local items that we can find like the shells the conch shells and different things like that. I used to operate the Point View restaurant full-time at present um, I only do like breakfast, native breakfast on Saturday mornings. Kong stew, grits and fish, um, steamed conch, um, hash turbot, whatever it is. So if you guys in South Caicos at any time and looking for some place on the weekends like Saturday morning breakfast, just check it out. here at Sunset Cafe, one of my favorite places in Harbor, with one of my former students in the person of Daryl Forbes. I am so elated to see how Daryl has grown into a successful entrepreneur and businessman. All right, guys, welcome to the Big South. My name is Daryl Forbes, and I'm South Caicos finest chef. <laughs> I was born and raised here in the Big South, never left. And uh, from 2008, I came up with this restaurant and from then it just take off, you know. We are specialized in seafood, especially fish, lobster and conch. That's our native dishes. Coming from the Big South, we want to see things move in a positive direction. The more people come, the more better for the locals. And we, we can get to expose our culture and our tradition to the world. Today, I'm, I'm very happy that the tourist board came through and uh, exposed our island, our culture, our food. As we go from here, let's see how South Cake is gonna be in the next few years from now with all of these developments and our terminal building. I hope to see a big change here in South so the locals could benefit from it. And I'm happy and pleased to see what's going on here. Let's see if we can take it a next step farther than here. Uh, if you ever get a chance to come to South, you could just hop off your flight and come straight down to Congrand Bay. And as you come down here, you will be see a big sign that says Sunset Cafe. You can't miss it. You can't miss it. If you miss it, you miss out on the best tasting local dishes you ever taste. So come down and, and, and spend a day with me. with the son of the soil, none other than Mr. Cleo Cox. Welcome, Cleo. It's a pleasure to have you here this afternoon, and we are highlighting Cleo, a person who has been in tourism in the Bahamas for many, many years, and he has now returned to his homeland of South Caicos to make his contribution. So Cleo, you take it away. Tell us about yourself, what you've been doing, here in South, and what are your plans for the future? My name is Cleophus Cox. It's a pride and joy to be back here in the Big South, back home, to run the Dolphin Grill restaurant and bar, and also the, the Ocean and Beach Resort. We here, we, we do breakfast in the morning time. We also do lunch. Also, we do dinner. We have a number of guests come and practice 
the restaurant from Sail Rock, also East Bay Resort, and also the local people here. I am very optimistic about South Caicos. Me, myself, I've spent many years in Freeport, Grand Bahama, and to the restaurant business, the nightclub business, also to the hotel business. Well, we're located at Tucker Hill. We do have one of the best views here in the TCI. We're overlooking Dolph Key, also Long Key, as you could see. We do have a huge swimming pool, and um, everything is just perfect and pretty. So this is a place for people to come to spend family time. Mm -hmm.